The legacy of soul food amongst African Americans really originate from slavery. Soul food means strength. It's resilience because you had to just make do what you had. Please, by all means, enjoy our food, but give us credit for our food. It's hard to gentrify by food. The way it's prepared is like, it uniquely comes from our spirit, like our culture. What is considered black food is just a little slice of what black food is. My parents were from Louisiana. That's where I've gotten a lot of my recipes from. These are basically my mom's recipes. She's really the one who, who taught me the passion for cooking. My father taught me the seasoning aspect of it. I'm known as Chef B. I'm the owner and executive chef at Season Vegan. I love to see the black pepper specks in my food. Don't ask why. <laughs> Plant-based eating is a way of life. A lot of people have related us to soul food, the traditional black culture, or the southern culture, is because we prepare mac and cheese and those things, which are traditionally southern ways of eating, but provide options for people to let them see that vegan food does not have to be bland and can be extremely tasty. So the Trinity is our basic seasoning, which is the onion, bell pepper, and the celery. And it gives the flavor. I'm a restaurateur of Bayou Cajun Soul Restaurant. I just have very fond memories of eating Southern food. The love put into making that food with intention. What I would try to do is take authentic um, cuisines and have a more healthy approach to it. So she's gonna sort of saute it into the roux. Mm, mm, mm. The people of West Africa, when they came to Louisiana, they brought with them okra and some of the vegetables. When I go back to the suffering and the lifestyle that they had during that time, they made amazing tasting dishes out of the scraps that they, they were given to eat. Any culture could enjoy eating our food. It shouldn't be any misconception at all that there, this was new food invented in, in America. No, it came from, from Africa. Soul food as a concept is food infused with love. And veganism is just that. What we wanted to do here is help people understand that they don't have to turn their backs on culture and flavor and just you know modernize it where we can have the flavor profile but substitute out the ingredients that are not serving us for ones that are plant-based and that carry higher vibration. My mom was preparing vegan food for almost 30 years. After my household became vegan and my mom really started to get good at her recipes, our house ended up being like the default dinner spot. I've just recently changed to oat milk from flaxseed. I just find that the oat milk, it just makes it a little more creamier. When people would come to our house, there was one thing that they would say repeatedly. If I can eat like this, then I can see myself being vegan. Black people have been farming for thousands of years. Eating plant-based is super indigenous. We have been cultivating food, teaching people how to plant and harvest for eons. So the concept that black people are more inclined to eat meat or won't enjoy plant-based foods is just preposterous to me. Most cuisines are associated with like a region and they attach the cuisine to it to elevate it, to give it a certain level of mastery. Soul food is kind of seen as something that is done at home, you know, not necessarily to a scale at which it's like fine dining. I mean, people have been traveling the world for soul food. So the fact that it doesn't have such a prestige that other cuisines are associated with, I feel like that does a disservice to the culture and also does a disservice to the cuisine. I personally think um, you do a disservice when you try to overprice food and try to make it as, as, as if you created it yourself and you don't give credit to where the origin of the food comes from. It's important that we always retain and remember where we came from. 
I wanted to give the people in the community a nice restaurant, enjoy authentic food, because there are not a lot of black-owned businesses in this community, but the community primarily is African-American. And they, they feel wonderful that they could come in and eat their own food made by their own people. And it just gives us a, a sense of community here that people value what they like, their cuisine, it has value. Every time I stepped to my stove, I had to step to my stove with love because I had to put that energy into my food. Food is, is energy. Whatever you bring to it is how it's going to come out. Soul food will always exist. Remember, it's what comes from within your soul that's just in an existence in a new way. It's a new wave of soul food, which has been here all along.